PA school is hard. These tests are hard. I am like freaking studying my behind off. And all of that is true, but I do want to introduce you to the beautiful concept of you and I. When I do a lie. If I What's up you guys? Trend, Donna, welcome back to my channel. So, I wanted to first off thank you guys so much for kind of just coming along this journey with me and um, just going through this whole PA school thing. For those of you who are non-committal and you have not done so yet, go ahead right now. Hit that subscribe button, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you know exactly when a new video is coming out and follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA. So I know like you guys hear me say, oh my gosh, PA school is so hard to hear like, PAs talk about it and pre-PAs pre say, and other PA students say, hey, PA school is hard. These tests are hard. I am like freaking studying my behind off. And all of that is true, but I do want to introduce you to the beautiful concept of da, 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 remediation. something nice to have. Uh, most PA schools do have a remediation policy. It's just like a nice little cushy safety net that you can like lay your head on and you understand that okay so if I fail this exam it's not the end of the world for me because I can still past PA school, I can still become a great PA. And that doesn't mean that you're not going to be good at what you do in, in the particular area that you shine in, right? So that is just disclaimer right there. But for those of you who don't know about what remediation is, what it is is your school may have different areas that or different um, levels at which you need to remediate your content or your grade. So with my particular program, it was somewhere in the 70s, mid 70s, I believe it was. If you got lower than essentially a C, then you have to remediate. And I know some schools have remediation policies where if you get lower than a B, you have to remediate, but that wasn't necessarily the case for my program. But just to kind of make the numbers right, because I don't know, I don't remember exactly what the remediation policy number was, but let's say if it was an 80. So if you got below an 80, then you needed to either grade remediate, you can choose to grade remediate or content remediate. With um, remediation, you only get, I think you get like two remediations per course in the summertime. And then from that you get one remediation per course. So with that being said, you, they're, they're kind of like prize commodities, right? You don't want to use them willy nilly because you have more than two exams in the summer for each class. So you have to kind of choose what you want to remediate if you need to remediate at all. And with respect to content remediation or grade re remediation, that's also something important that you have to kind of weigh. So if you have to content remediate, that just means you're going through like the information with the teacher. So you, you see the areas that you did not perform well at, you go over it, you maybe answer a couple questions for them, and then um, and then that's that, you know, like you're, you're done with that content remediation. But you can also choose to grade remediate where it will actually change your grade to a passing score so you but you again you have to like it's like a, a game that you're playing right so like if your grade your remediation level is 80 and let's say you got like a 78 or even a 77 it's like well why would I content remediate to a 70 from a 77 to an 80 if it's not really gonna make that much of a difference to my overall score you know my overall grade for that class it's three percent um and and even let, and let's say if it was like one percent you don't want to do that I, I wouldn't waste a remediation on like one percent or even two percent so that's important to take into cons consideration you could just content remediate and then go from there and now there are things like you can always content remediate you can always ask to see your exam go over your exam with the teacher um, where it's not going to change your grade or anything of that nature but it's just for your own knowledge however if you get below that threshold then you have to remediate but remediation is a great thing you guys you know 
every not everybody has it all like a good day not everybody can just kill these exams and sometimes it's essential for you to just have that in your back pocket that you can like go to if needs be to be like all right um if i remediate this score because i had a really really bad day um it can bring my grade up from a b minus to a b or from you know, an A minus, it can actually get me to that A threshold. And so those are some of the important things that you have to think about when you're you're trying to juggle remediation. Should I, should I not? But it is like the holy grail of PA school having remediation as an option for you because you are spending tens of thousands of dollars on your education and you don't want not have a safety net um, for if you had a bad day where now you're just automatically out of the program um, or you flunked out of that course and so now you have to wait another year because some schools do that where if you flunk a particular course they'll allow you to come back and you know the next year not all schools do that uh, so you, you, that's something you have to look at but you know you don't want to have to waste essentially money um, because you had a bad day or a bad a bad test taking day. So that is why remediation is great. So although PA school is hard, do not get me wrong, it is hard. Um, and it is hard to get into. Once you're there, they do put in some nice little safety nets and precautions for you to do well and succeed and thrive in PA school. And one of those things is remediation. on what remediation exactly is and you can always call the different schools that you're interested in see if they remediate uh, see if it's on their website what the remediation policy is see if that's something that you can get behind and if so go ahead and apply you guys and get into PA school so we can be colleagues in the future all right thank you guys so so much for watching and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below go ahead right now and subscribe to my channel follow me on Instagram and hit that like button for more videos like this and um, just if you like this video and if you like you know hearing me talk about this stuff thank you guys I will talk to you guys next time bye